I won't stop till the end, no Itachi, you're the Shinizama Then... Welcome back guys, Anime Scale here and today we are taking a look at Itachi and Sasuke power levels over the years. So let's get started. Sasuke grew up in the shadow of his brother and although Sasuke was very skilled for a boy of his age, he could never meet the same milestones Itachi had set. Itachi graduated the academy in only four months while he was also training with Shisui. Itachi was simply more talented than Sasuke. Itachi completed the Forest of Death exam alone against teams of three, bringing both Heaven and Earth Scroll to the tower, also setting a record for the time taken. Sasuke on the other hand, with his curse mark, was definitely at Jonin level, but nowhere near Itachi in terms of feats and talent. Itachi had a two Tomo Sharingan when he and Shisui faced a team of three S rank Shinobi, and Itachi defeated one of them with mid difficulty. Anyway, this round goes to Sasuke, who in this form has one more Tomo than Itachi, and physical strength and speed amped by his curse mark. Sasuke, after his training with Orochimaru, was strong enough to outmatch all Team 7 even without activating his Sharingan. On Itachi, we don't have much in order to scale him, but considering that he was Anbu level as a kid, makes me scale this 12-year-old Itachi already at the Kage level tier. Once absorbed Orochimaru, Sasuke has better regeneration as well as better defensive and offensive abilities. However, I don't see this Sasuke being able to defeat this Itachi, who is more talented and also has a more evolved dojutsu, even though I think that Sasuke's Kirin would represent a real threat for Itachi. <laughs> Itachi, during his years in the Akatsuki, fully developed his Sharingan, unlocking the Amaterasu as well as his armored Susano. Taka Sasuke wouldn't be able to do much against his brother since he can barely utilize Amaterasu and he also lacks on stamina. It would be a much closer fight between Kage, Summit Sasuke and this Itachi, but I still see Itachi winning. In fact, when we compare their respective Susano, Itachi Susano is more evolved and it also wields an ethereal sword capable of sealing anyone it pierces and also ethereal shield capable of deflecting any attack. Sasuke is still behind his brother in this round. Itachi is one of the few characters who became stronger in his Edo Tensei. In fact, Itachi in this form, he no longer has the stamina, sickness and blindness issues he had before and this makes him a total monster. He gets rid of Kabuto's control over his body, outmatches Nagato and he practically ends the war by himself. Sasuke can use his Mangekyu Sharingan without worries, but his Susano and Genjutsu are still inferior to the ones of his brother. Plus Itachi, thanks to his Edo Tensei, has endless regeneration and there's no way Sasuke could defeat him in a 1v1. Sasuke surpasses his brother only thanks to the power boost provided by Hogaramo. He now has a perfect Susano that can fly, so Itachi's Totsuka Blade will never actually reach him. He can teleport. He can resist to Itachi's Tsukiyomi since his Ridigan resisted to a much stronger Genjutsu. Sage of Six Path Sasuke counters all Itachi's abilities and he's now on a complete different tier of power. So now, 15 years have passed after the Fourth Great War and Sasuke has now mastered his Rinnegan abilities, becoming even stronger. So this is it guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below as always and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you soon for a brand new video. This is Anime Scale out, bye!